Hi kids. Do you notice a new background behind me? Can you guess where I am? That's right, I'm in the story room at the church. It's so awesome to be here with you. You can even say hi to the bear. Hi bear. So fun to be here. I hope you've had a wonderful week. We are excited that you're here and I hope you're looking forward to worshiping together. We have some new songs for you to learn today that's gonna to be exciting. And we have a true story about a man named Paul. We can't wait to get started, can we? So are you ready? Everybody standing? Okay, let's loosen up a little, wiggle your arms, put your smile on, let's worship.
was a wonderful story, wasn't it? Paul told all of those people he talked to something very important and something very true. We can learn about Jesus by looking around us. God made some very wonderful, beautiful things in our world. And when we look at them, we can understand some new things about God. We, we learn that he's very creative. That means he can make wonderful things. We learn that he wants to give us good things. He made very wonderful things to put here on earth. We learn that he's very powerful. He can make big things, the little things. We learn that he is so strong. And when we look around, we see that. Now, what are some things you can think of that you know God made? Yes, he made the trees, that's right. What else? Puppies, I love puppies. What else did God make? Sunshine, the clouds, the rivers, the tall mountains. We could name things all day long that God made. And you know what it teaches us? Is that God can do what you and I can't do. Now maybe you have a friend who could paint a beautiful picture. That's so awesome, I wish I could do that. But let me ask you this, could he paint that picture up in the sky so everyone could see it? No, but God can. Have you ever seen a sunset? It's a beautiful picture God paints in the sky for us to see. And maybe you know somebody who is so talented that they can build a whole house out of just wood. That's really cool. But could that person build a tree that could keep growing and keep putting out new leaves every year? No, but God can. And somebody was so smart that they learned how to put electric lights in our room so that it's not dark, but it's light and bright. That's pretty awesome. But could that person hang one of these lights way up in the sky so it gave light to everybody? No, but God can. Because you see, God can do what we can't do. He can make something out of nothing. Now, let me give you an example. I, I can make a pretty cool birthday cake. I can make the cake and I can put frosting on it and I can put little roses on it. But you know what I have to do when I make it? I have to get some flour that I didn't make. And I need to get some sugar that I didn't make. And I need to get eggs that I didn't make. And I need to get some frosting. And then I get all those things that I didn't make and I can put them together and make a pretty cool cake. But only God can make wonderful, beautiful things out of nothing. Isn't that awesome? And when we realize that and we look at the things, it helps us see Jesus a little better and want to know him a little more. And you know what? I think that should make us celebrate. Can you stand up and celebrate? Woohoo! Jesus is awesome, isn't he? We want to celebrate him. That is so cool. All right, while you're standing, let's say our memory verse. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. These are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Good job, but let's do it one more time. Let me hear you from the church, okay? Are you ready? These are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Good job. Well, boys and girls, I think it would be a great week for us as we pray in closing to thank Jesus for the wonderful things he's made for us. So when we're ready, we're gonna, I'm gonna say one, two, three, and together, all at the same time, we're gonna say, Jesus, thank you for, and you name something that you are thankful Jesus made for us. It could be anything, puppies or trees or sky or sunshine or your mommy or whatever you want to thank Jesus for. And we'll say it all together. I really like for you to say it out loud, but if you don't wanna do that, you can whisper it or you can say it in your mind. But we wanna thank Jesus for the wonderful things he's made. And then after we've done that, I'm gonna say one, two, three again. And if you want to be Jesus' friend, it's a good time to tell him that. Only say it if you mean it. But if you want to, you can say, Jesus, I want to be your friend. And then we'll say amen. Okay? All right. So we're going to fold our hands, bow our heads and close our eyes so we won't get distracted. And then we're going to pray. 
One, two, three. Jesus, thank you for the sunshine. I love the sunshine. One, two, three. Jesus, I always want to be your friend. Amen. Good job, boys and girls. So fun to be with you today. I hope you have a great week coming up. And I hope to see you back next Sunday again, okay? Bye-bye. Bye, Bear.